performed on cattle to provide anesthesia to the caudal body regions for surgical procedures and to block straining and tenesmus. Epidurals are administered in the epidural space between the first and second caudal vertebrae. This space is identified by gently lifting the tail up and down while simultaneously palpating for the first freely movable joint caudal to the sacrum. Once the proper site has been identified, the area should be clipped and surgically prepared. An 18-gauge 3.75 cm sterile needle is generally used to deliver the anesthetic except in very large patients who may require longer needles. Locate the space with your finger. Insert the needle on the dorsal midline, directly over the space at a slight caudal to rostral angle to the skin. Slowly advance the needle ventrally and on midline through the subcutaneous tissue and the ligament of the dorsal spinous process. As the needle penetrates the ligamentum flavum, you will feel a popping sensation and tissue resistance will disappear. You may also hear the faint sound of air rushing into the epidural space as the negative pressure is relieved and the epidural space expands. Many clinicians will confirm proper needle placement by instilling one or two drops of anesthetic from the syringe into the hub of the needle. If necessary, gently redirect the needle until the fluid disappears. Once you have confirmed proper placement, Attach the syringe and administer the anesthetic. You should encounter no resistance during the injection. The anesthetic will fill the epidural space and diffuse cranially, anesthetizing the nerve roots as they emerge from the sacral spinal cord. The number of ascending nerve roots blocked by the anesthetic depends on the dose administered. Typically, 3 to 6 milliliters of anesthetic is used to block sacral nerves 5, four, and three, while the lumbar nerves are left unblocked to avoid problems with patient locomotion and hind limb function. When you are finished with the injection, remove the needle and syringe and allow approximately three minutes for the anesthesia to take effect. You can check the efficacy of your block by evaluating the tail tone of the patient. The tail should be flaccid and easily lifted. Pinching the skin around the vulva should also elicit no reaction from the patient following a successful epidural injection.